Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Seagate's Firecuda 530 with a heatsink into a PlayStation 5 for the ultimate expandable storage solution in 2021. This full tutorial is going to show you how to open up the console and actually pop the drive into place so you can get gaming as soon as possible without running out of room. Removing the plate does take a little bit of a knack, but be patient and listen to this very important tip. Take your right hand with the disc tray by your left hand. You then want to put your right hand on this right hand corner and actually pull upwards. As you're applying upwards pressure, push the cover to the left and that's literally it. Let me snap that back on and actually show you how easy that is once you've got the knack. If you start trying to push it from here, it's not gonna work. Get your hand, put it under that rear right corner, lift a bit so the back flexes and push. And that is literally it. That took me ages to figure out, so hopefully I can save you guys the stress and the hassle. Here on the left hand side is your disc tray. To the right is one of your fans, but the most important bit is this metal cover. This is where your M.2 drive, in our case, the Seagate Firecuda 530 is going to go. Remove this screw and take the cover off. For this step, you will need a small screwdriver. Once this is out the way, we can go ahead and slide the drive in. You'll notice that once we slide the drive into the M.2 slot, we need to actually screw it down to stop it from going anywhere. That's where this screw comes in that by default is secured down to 110. Our drive is only 80 in length, so the 110 is surplus to requirements. So go ahead and just remove this screw. Slot the drive into place and you'll get that reassuring click sound before fastening it back down with the same screw we just removed. Pop on the M.2 cover, pop on the side panel of the PlayStation, and you're good to go. And that's pretty much all there is to it, to the physical installation of the 530. Our PS5 now has an extra two terabytes of storage that we're able to configure and use for some of the biggest titles out there. On that note, that pretty much wraps it up for our uh, installation guide here on the eBuy YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more from us, make sure to get subscribed. Thanks for watching though, and as always, we'll see you soon.